Hello. Hi. Welcome to Product Hood TV. So in today's webinar, we are going to talk about building WoW products. So first of all, I'll just talk about a brief about myself. So my name is Lokesh Gupta. I am the founder of Product Hood. It's a growth platform for product makers, product marketers, and product managers. So let's just move on. So in this presentation, we'll talk about uh, building great products. But uh, before that, we need to understand what exactly is a product. So according to what is a product? So well, a uh, product is something which serves a customer requirement. So you know, ultimately, it's products are there to satisfy customer needs, customer pain points. A cust customer uh, requirements can be anything. They, they may be lo looking for a product. They might be looking for a service. And they might be looking for something which essentially help solve their pain points now building a great product is not only an art but it's a science uh, you know uh, product requirement changes with with demography with uh, gender with uh, age with income so for example when i was a, a school student when i was a kid i used to love maggie now maggie is a great product you know and it serves uh, different customers in a different way uh, for me it was uh, all about maggie club so i used to love uh, you know the, the goodies offered by maggie you know, when i was a kid and for my mother it was all about health uh, she loved maggie because of its health benefits and uh, so most of my friends love maggie because of its taste so you see uh, a same product serves different needs based on the customer pain points and customer requirements when i was in college i used to love orkut you know orkut opened a whole new set of opportunity for me i was an introvert i did not like mingling with the people so could help me interact with the people in an online world you know it helped me uh, find new friends it helped me create uh, synergies it helped me you know make new friends moving on uh, when i went to job I, I i used to use yahoo mail for all my communication purpose and but eventually it was disrupted by gmail you know gmail uh, really understood customer pain points uh, gmail gave 1 gb of hosting when yahoo mail was giving close to two, 2 or 4 mbs only so how do we go about building great products uh, you know great products requires a lot of hard work across multiple teams multiple people so essentially it's very very difficult to build wow products so in this present uh, presentation we are going to learn about how to build wow products so but before building understanding how to build products we need to really understand customers and one of the things that we need to understand from a customer pain point is understand habits you know we all have have habits we all love uh, doing things we all love you know and, uh, we, we get up in the morning we brush our teeth so we are habitual to our habits you know habits uh, is like a settled or a regular tendency or a practice uh, which is very hard to give up uh, now you don't think about uh, giving up brush you get up uh, in the morning and automatically it's like uh, unconsciously you just pick for a brush and the toothpaste and the, this habit was long uh, when even you were a kid it was ingrained in your mind by your parents by your family so now it's very very difficult to give up uh, as per the science uh, it takes close to 66 days to form a habit now the the numbers are debatable some says that you take you need 21 days to form a habit but sometimes um, it, it may take more or it may take less it all depends upon your motivation it all depends upon your uh, will uh, to form a habit but once you form a habit it will remain for life even if you quit smoking uh, if maybe after 20 years you will again um, find an urge to smoke and from there on you will continue smoke, smoking so uh, how do you go about changing habits you know uh, and it's not just about changing habits; it's about forming new habits as well so how do you go about doing that so uh, before we move on we'll try to understand uh, how habits are formed and uh, a book by charles duhigg the power of habits is a very good book to understand the psychology behind habits habits is all about routines you know you have a uh, so habits start with a cue or a trigger um, so, so for example you, and you get up in the morning that's a cue that you know you have to do a brush and at, at the end of a habit routine is a reward and the rewards uh, in case of a brushing is uh, dental health dental hygiene you look good and you will feel good you will feel confident so if you want to change a habit you need to first understand the entire routine uh, what all things that trigger a routine and what is the end reward of that routine 
so i would uh, highly recommend this book if you uh, want to build a great product and uh, you want to change your, your own habits now once you understand the customer habits so the next you what you need is um, you know how, how do you go about understanding your customer habits so you need to really understand your customers and how do you go about understanding your customers well you need to do a kyc uh, now kyc is a very popular term used by most of the financial companies and the government organizations so you need to really know your customer so essentially at the end of the day you need to know your customer like the back of your head you need to understand the, your their tastes their habits what they, they like what they don't like what are the pain points what they want to do in life what are their goals and their demographic their income and uh, what kind of uh, product that they use uh, currently what products and services they are not happy with what they really look for in a, a given product so you need to really understand your customers like uh, the back of your hand and it's an ever growing process because your customers will evolve the customers your customers will change over time so you need to really you know, work very very hard to always uh, you know know your customers uh, even if uh, what they do what they don't do so uh, it's a it's a 24 by 7 job as a product manager now how do you go about doing a kyc so uh, most of the kind of startups and entrepreneurs make a mistake that they sit in a room and then and they just think about the customer they really don't know the customer but they think that they know uh, because they keep working within a room within within their own, own organization they don't go out so uh, steve blank um, in his famous book the four steps to the epiphany says that uh, uh, there are no facts uh, that remain inside a building so if you want to uh, really know your customer if you really want to understand that their pain points you need to get out and and talk to your customer so do not sit in a room do not uh, work in your organization look outside your, your your organization to understand your customers so once you have, once you know uh, your customers once you understand your their habits you need to build a user persona now user persona is like a it's like a you know a great way to really uh, fall in love with your customer if you are a product manager product marketer or designer you should always keep your uh, user persona in front of you uh, now user persona is a is a great way to to capture whatever research that you have done to understand your customers uh, give your uh, customer a name and uh, uh, write as much detail about your customer in this user persona so user persona is nothing but a snapshot of your customer uh, and uh, day and night you should think about your user persona your customer and try to jot down as much detail as possible now it can be as naive as uh, their, their their age uh, income or it can be as uh, you know diverse as their as their demographics or, or or their you know you know uh, what they do what they don't do the frustrations their goals and what kind of communication channels uh, do they use what products uh, do they use so uh, each and every detail of uh, of a customer should be there in the user persona template uh, and f even for a given product there might be different sets of customers so for each set of customers you should have one user persona give it a name and put it on your whiteboard look at it every day and night so that you fall in love with your customer now there are tons of tools available in the market for user persona so just uh, find uh, whatever tool that is comfortable and fits in, into your budget and just go and use it now uh, once you understand your customers once you understand their habits and once you have a user persona ready now it's time to build a habit forming products and uh, i would quote uh, a four-step model from uh, Nireya's book Hooked, uh, which ultimately helps you build a habit-forming product. Because ultimately, power products are nothing but habit-forming products. Uh, they are simple, but ultimately, they help you uh, get used to it. So it's a four-step model, where, uh, and, and there's a one um, extra step uh, which we'll talk about in a bit. So essentially, uh, any, any uh, habit-forming product starts with a trigger. Uh, so now these triggers can be internal triggers or it can be external triggers. Uh, so for example uh, in case of facebook you, there is a uh, internal trigger uh, you feel bored you, you feel lonely and then you start uh, looking at facebook but in case of an external trigger uh, something like uh, uh, there, there must be some prompt or some kind of a notification that says that uh, you need to take an action uh, for example in case of a linkedin uh, there's a great feature called, uh, called by who viewed your profile so uh, it's a great way to to bring back users to the linkedin every time somebody visits my profile there's an urge to see uh, why that person has visited me who is this person am i am i popular or this person is looking for some help from me so there are tons of questions that pops into my mind when uh, when somebody visits my profile so that's a great way to build an external trigger uh, once you have this uh, triggers in place you need to let your users take an action now the, the actions can be as simple as clicking a button or uh, you know doing a payment or it can be anything depending on upon your product it can be a b2b or a b2c product and accordingly your actions would change and then uh, 
lastly once we have uh, let your users take an action you need to ask them to to come back again so you need to build some uh, a variable reward so that um, they are not satisfied that they keep on coming back to your platform again and again and so for that you need to do some extra work you need to invest in uh, certain hooks or certain uh, actions so that users can come back again and again so it's a great way to build uh, entire habit forming channel uh, into your product so so just go deep into this habit forming model hook model by nireal so i talked about facebook uh, you feel bored and then you start using facebook uh, similarly i talked about linkedin uh, who viewed your profile feature now any product uh, without a simple and a great user experience uh, will not be able to uh, build attraction so uh, a great user experience uh, is very very important and by by great user experience means that the product should be simple it should be intuitive it should be easy to use and uh, it should talk on its own even your grandmother should be able to use it so a great user experience is a, is a fundamental uh, you know steps to 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 build a, a great product so uh, you know to invest in user experience design as well now i'll just quickly summarize so, so you understand a customer you have built um, you you understand their habits you have created a user persona and you have uh, used four step model of hooked uh, to, to build a habit forming product now what next well uh, the next thing is to to actually go and uh, build that product so you need to invest your time and energies into building a lean product most of the companies what they do is they spend 6 months maybe one year to build a, a great product when ultimately find that nobody is going to use it so what you need to do is follow a lean product development methodology so that you deliver something very fast you learn from from the mistakes you learn from the feedback given by the customers and you quickly iterate so essentially uh, you you build something you measure the, the, the efforts and then, then you learn from it and again reinvest everything that you've learned into your uh, next set of development so so it's uh, a move as quickly as possible move as fast as possible and, and so that you'll be able to build something fast and your, your ultimate goal should be to reduce waste uh, so waste can happen at any point of time it can be at the idea phase it can be at the customer research phase it can be at the development phase design phase or it can be even at the launch phase uh, yeah, you should not spend the tons of uh, you know 6 months searching your customer probably you should do a couple of interviews you should meet couple of customers and build an a minimum viable product and take the product to the to these sort of customers to take the feedback and everything should be done in an as as small as possible time as possible so that you can reduce the, the overall development cost overall you know a time to to market so the, the core goal of your building a great product is to reduce waste at every, at every step now once you have done all these things you have uh, a great product you, you have spent time building it the next thing that is left is the product marketing um, If you're not able to reach your customers with the right messaging, nobody is going to notice your product, uh, let alone use it. So ultimately, you have to invest time in product marketing as well. So product marketing is also a very important part of our product development, and product marketers and product managers have to work hand in hand to to create the right messaging for the product. So I'll talk about iPod. So iPod, when launched, and its marketing message was like, like thousand songs in your pocket. It had great specifications with like a great storage capacity and a lot of ui ux and a lot of technical you know stuff built into it and it was way ahead uh, from with uh, sony walkman but uh, nobody understand uh, how much uh, gbs you have in your uh, device nobody understand all the technical jargons but what they they understand is like how many songs you can play and the uh, you know the walkman at that point of time had only a couple of hundreds of uh, you know songs that can be played at any given point of time so so i bought with this messaging ultimately changed the game and uh, the, the sales increased like an, anything so the product marketing is very very important so with this i'll end this presentation if you have any question just feel free to ping me and uh, you know reach me at location@productwood.com or visit www.productwood.com for any questions on product management product marketing and growth hacking or product design thank you so much